The main point is, does your camera save gyro data? This is the most important stuff because previous version, DJI FPV, did not record the gyro data. So what we had to do was we had to add GoPro on DJI FPV. So because the GoPro can save the gyro data and we could export that to gyro flow. But DJI FPV uh, Avata, the recently released, has this gyro data in its camera. This is a really happy announcement for us. So in this video with Jarflow and DJ Abata, I'm gonna to try to show you what's gonna happen. The left is DJ Abata's camera and right is Jarflow applied video footage. You can see the huge difference between these two videos. Whoever flies uh, the FPV will wobble like this. It's gonna shake, it's gonna shudder, it's gonna wobble like this. But this uh, X, Y, Z coordinates are the gyro data is going to be saved together. And after taking the video, you can use this kind of program. In GoPro, we call it Real Steady. Free program called Gyro Flow. And DJI now supports the Gyro Flow. So you, as you can see, this is like very, very smooth, just like a sensor drone, like DJI. Mini 3 or something like that. So and when you come very close, very slowly, you can see that it's gonna be wobbling a lot in the left video footage. But when you see right, you can see that it's super smooth. Everybody says that I fly really well, but actually I've been using Jarflow. Flow. That was my secret actually. So how do you apply Jarflow? Flow? The thing was that what the, the it was saying like it does not have gyro data on it so it was a little bit what i don't have gyro data what's going on it's saying no so the important thing is that in google's camera setting uh you're you have to the fov must be in wide not ultra wide or normal and you have to turn off the eis so if you put it on normal it it's not going to save the gyro data if you put it on ultra wide it's not going to save the gyro data and you have to, so this is it. It should be wide and EIS should be turned off. One more time, wide and off, wide and off. Please remember this. And after uh, taking the video footage of Avata, just drag and drop to this program and you will see it's gonna be 100%. You will see the file name, you will see the dimension, you will see the frame rate and the format, 8-bit, but not yet the gyro but and after that you will see the gyro it contains gyro yes that's the most important stuff if it says no it's not going to work you don't have to touch this panel and synchronization just click auto sync just do it but you, i think in avata you don't have to do it in gopro you must click that auto sync but in jar uh, avata i don't think you'd have to do it but i'm not sure but just press it you can also play the video here and then you can like drag this and then you're gonna see this huge bump, black bumps. That's where like falling, that, that's gonna come out. You're gonna do is that, that's kind of like corner stuff. So just try to find the biggest bump. Just like drag a little bit and you'll see, that's the biggest bump, right? Right there, we have to delete those kind of black bumps. So what we do is just fill the view, FOV, just drag to maybe 0.75, something like that. Then you'll see that it's gonna a little bit zoom in a little bit more and it's gonna delete the boundaries. Then it's gonna look nice. Yeah, I think this is gonna be nice. Also, you can try to check one more time. Is there any other bumps? 
And with this pressing this trim button, you can trim the video also. So you can trim out the parts that you don't want to. So when you export it, the file is going to be a little bit smaller. So it's much better to just crop it here and then just export it right away. It's like silky smooth, right? I thought previously, like when people were flying like, th like this, I thought there was really an expert, but anybody can do this like this actually and just press export. That's it. It's super easy, right? There's nothing that much you have to do. Just fill the view, auto sync. That's it. And then just open the render file. That's it. This is the most easiest and simplest way for gyroflow. Thanks guys.